Welcome to the first lesson of this course. It is my great pleasure to teach you what I know about recon at this moment in time. It's a great pleasure because I enjoy doing recon tremendously. And I cannot stress this enough. Do what you love and do it frequently. This is not a beginner level course. I consider it to be more towards intermediate because I am assuming you are already familiar with aspects of cybersecurity such as networking, the penetration testing methodology, how to work with Kali Linux, Parrot OS, or other Linux flavors that are geared toward pen testing and security research. We'll also be using Windows here and there. Because we're going to use programming languages like Python and Bash, familiarity with them is not only a prerequisite, but also a very big plus. In my view, a solid security professional has a good comfort level with programming. Okay, that being said, let me start lightly by talking about security research and bug hunting methodologies, and also share some personal aspects of my own story as well. There are probably as many bug hunting methodologies as bug hunters are out there. If you're a hunter yourself and you strictly follow someone else's methodology, without expanding it and developing your own, it's likely you will encounter a lot of frustration, you will get stuck, and many of your reports will end up being duplicates. There is nothing wrong with learning and applying other people's methodologies when you just start out. However, as soon as you get your feet wet, you need to expand and develop your own private methodology, which will invariably increase your chances for successful outcomes. What I'm trying to say here is, Learn from me, but then go your own way. As you create your own tactics, and as you participate in more security and bug bounty programs, one of my top suggestions is for you to focus on what you learn from each target, which is why it is really important to write things down. Write your own methodology and always add new strategies, tools, and tactics to it as you gain more experience in the programs you participate. Learning never ends. And this is great because it satisfies the curious nature of the hacker. If you're a real hacker, you'll love this. Otherwise, if you're in it for the quick buck and for the transitory fame, this will make you prone to burnout and dissatisfaction. Now, my story in a few words. I was always a computer geek, even though I spent a lot of time socially and around people. I get energy from the crowd, but I do also need a lot of time with my own thoughts. I have a master's in constructions engineering by formal education, but I didn't get a chance to work in the field because I decided to postpone that and instead try to see where my passion for computers takes me. I started learning Python around 2015 and then I became interested in cybersecurity and started teaching myself penetration testing uh, through all the means that I could get my hands on, be it books, courses, hands-on platforms and YouTube videos. I started practicing a lot and I always focused on the practical side of things as my top way to learn something. I began applying my coding skills to penetration testing by developing useful scripts and small programs to help me along in my practice. I got my first job as a cybersecurity analyst about three years ago. I didn't have any degree or certification in cybersecurity back then. What I did have though was a GitHub profile where I posted my scripts a YouTube channel where I showcased my skills, and also a growing network of cybersecurity people on LinkedIn. My entry in the field was therefore unconventional. In 2019, I went for the OICP, bought the 60 days labs, and immediately took and passed the exam after the labs ended. With some time on my hands, I looked into and uh, quickly got very hooked about bug bounty hunting and security research. I started following some popular figures in the field of bug bounty hunting, watching their videos, reading books, and timidly um, I began working on bug bounty programs. I decided to first learn and develop recon skills and then move to the many other aspects of the hunting methodology. As I learned, I began writing my own methodology by combining bits and pieces from different researchers, by adding my own tactics, and most importantly by coding my own tools. My recon methodology is always expanding and always growing. What I did for the first few months is very much different to what I do now and what I'll do a few years from now. And that's what you should also do. Take what you learn from this course as a starting point 
as a starting methodology, if I may, and grow it and expand it into your very own. This will solidify your chances for successful outcomes. The key point here is that your methodology should consist of a document with tools, tactics, and steps you follow when reconning a target. You should securely keep at least one online and one offline copy of this document. In recon, both manual and automated, you often use and combine dozens of tools for your assessments. Not having a written methodology of your tactics will lower or drastically reduce your chances at becoming a successful professional. I cannot stress this enough. All right, now that you know me a little bit better and now that you know what you're up to with this course, let's move into the next lesson.